My name is Dr. Holcomb at the University of Pikeville, and this uh, video is uh, show my class, uh, special topics class, uh, a sample presentation for their final presentations. I'm going to be doing a combinatorial question from the Axis and Allies Gap. In what distinct ways can the United States spend all of its initial 36 IPCs, which are basically like dollars, uh, in the original Axis and Allies game? Uh, the IPCs actually stand for Industrial Production Certificates. Uh, we're going to assume that there's no attempt made on weapons development, and we assume that no U.S. territories have been captured. What are some of the units that can be purchased? They range from the economy of the $3 infantry unit all the way up to the $24 battleship unit. And as you can see, there's a variety of units that can be purchased. Special purchase rules, you can only, you can purchase at most one anti-aircraft gun per turn, and at most one industrial complex may be purchased per turn. Otherwise, you just may be purchased if you've got the sufficient money for it. Okay, the mathematics used. Most of the units have a price that's divisible by three, so I'm going to break it up into three cases. When you buy only units with purchase price divisible by three, only units with price not divisible by three, and then the mix and match. Case A, only divisible by three. Here are the, here's the uh, list of possible prices, which are multiples of three. We ask, how can you add up numbers from this list for the sum to be 36? Here are the possible ways, and note the stars here for multiplication, which is just repeated addition. There are 13 ways for you to sum numbers from that set uh, to get the um, sum of 36. Now that's going to lead to 17 combinations, because remember 15 uh, IPCs uh, buys a bomber and an industrial complex. So here are the 17 possibilities. There's the first nine. And then here are the remaining eight. All of those cases are covered. For price not divisible by three, uh, we notice that the prices are either five and eight. And it turns out that the only way that you can sum fives and or eights repeatedly so that the sum is a multiple of three is for you to have actually a number of add-ins divisible by three. Three times eight is going to be too small. Nine times five is going to be too big. So it turns out you have to have exactly six units uh, of price in the five or eight. The sum's got to be 36. So we can set up a system of uh, equations. If you buy n units at five, a price of 5 and n units with a price of 8. 5n plus 8n's got to be 36, n plus n's got to be 6. The solution to this system is n equals 4 and n equals 2. So in the next slide I'm going to show you the four uh, units that you can purchase for 5, the price of 5. You can buy four tanks or three tanks and one any aircraft. The, the two units costing 8, you can buy two submarines or two transports or one of each. These can be done independently, and these can be done independently, giving you a grand total of six possibilities. The six combinations are now listed on this slide. And the case C is the mix and match. In order to spend the 36 IPCs, the number of units of price five or eight must be divisible by three, and then after that, that number would be divisible by three, and you can get units of the price, which is divisible by three. So we need three or six add-ins from this set, and we need the rest to come from here. So let me go through the possible combinations. Okay, three units with a cost of five, which is $21 available. These can be done independently of these five possible. So when you throw them all together, there's 10 possibilities with a cost split of 15 and 21. And here are the 10 different combinations. The next thing that can happen is you have three units 
with a cost of A, and all the rest of the 12 come from the units whose price is y3. These four can be done independently of these two. So there's eight combinations that can be paired together. And this slide shows you all eight of those possibilities. And then finally, it turns out, if we have six units whose cost is from the list five and eight, it has to be the six times five, because three times five plus three times eight and six times eight are both too big. If you spend 30 IPCs, it can be on six tanks or five tanks and one any aircraft gun. The only thing that you could do with the remaining six dollars, because again, we're assuming you spend all 36 IPCs, is to go two infantry. So you have six tanks, two infantry, or five tanks, one any aircraft gun, and two infantry. The grand total is 43 possibilities. So now for your enjoyment, here are the slides with all of the 43 possibilities. 1 through 14, the 15 through the 26, the 27 through the 37, and the 38 through the 43. And that concludes this presentation.